very, very timely to have too as it starts warming up here on the central coast, or it has been, at least. I don't know. I think that's how Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianco would kind of characterize it, but I'm not the weather guy. Well, I, I, my, my word of caution to you is always respect the ocean. Yes. It's just any time of year. It's just always something to be keeping in mind. As a man who can't even float in the ocean, I will definitely respect the ocean or any body of water. I'm, I'm actually really good at floating. Yeah. And I'm okay at swimming. Yeah. Not great, but okay. Those two things together, good enough. <laughs> but I still respect the ocean. All right, let's move on. Don't Here's, turn your back. Yeah. <laughs> don't turn your back to the sea or you'll end up in Davy Jones' locker. This is the word of advice I have for you. Let's pull those weather graphics up. Can we do that? There we go. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like out there across the region. We got a lot of giant red L's and blue H's. Well, circles with letters in them, I guess, with those aforementioned colors, but that all means something. We've got an area of low pressure out over the open Pacific. That's not going to be a big deal for us. Looks interesting as you're looking at our satellite picture. If it was winter time, we saw that out there, that might be headed right toward us, but we've got a couple of areas of blocking high pressure in place. There's this proto-monsoonal high pumping up moisture across the desert southwest, and an even stronger ridge of high pressure, which is really elongated up to the north here, and you'll kind of see that as I switch my map here. You can kind of see that we have this elongated ridge of high pressure, which is going to stay with us for the next several days and really strengthen over the Great Basin, and that's going to mean even warmer weather for folks out there, but maybe not so much for us. Being on the west side of this ridge, we're still going to be kind of in this onshore flow regime, which will uh, temper our conditions at least. Now our temperatures have been above normal at least inland for the last several days and they will stay that way maybe slowly cooling down a bit. On the coast we're not going to see a lot of difference day to day. It's going to be like that normal summertime pattern where we have low clouds and fog in the morning. We break to some sunshine in the afternoon. Maybe some areas are sunnier than others. Santa Cruz, you know who I'm talking about. If you live in Marina, you also know what I'm talking about because it's not, it's the other side of things. This is next week, about a week from now, trough of low pressure on the West Coast. That could put an end to those extra warm temperatures inland though. So there's a chance of cooling down at least for inland cities next week. Not seeing any rain in the forecast outside of any of our normal coastal drizzle, which is possible really any night we have these low clouds. Some nights it's more possible than others and nights that the marine layer is deepening, for example. We actually are deepening a little bit out there tonight. At the moment, not any drizzle being reported around the region. We've had drizzle the last couple nights in Salinas and other areas around the bay, but not right now anyway. Uh, future cast not handling the low-level clouds, so I'm going to fast forward to 7 in the morning. Chances are if you're up right now, you're probably not going to be awake until 7 anyway. Maybe you will, but either way, the model only showing clouds on the south side of the bay. We're going to see them filling the bay up through Santa Cruz, up to Gilroy, Hollister, the Salinas Valley. It'll start pretty close to how it started this morning as far as low clouds are concerned. Fog will be a possibility as well, especially in our inland valleys. Patchy in a sense on the coast, maybe a little bit more likely in the hills near the coast. So, you know, if you're driving up Highway 1 between Carmel and Monterey or up on the top of the Holman Highway there near Chomp, certainly could see some fog. If you're heading up through Scotts Valley, the nine corridor could see some fog as well. So just keep that in mind tomorrow morning. And like today, we'll clear out on the north side of the bay with that northwesterly flow. So Santa Cruz gets sunshine and we make it a little sunshine in Monterey, but places like PG, Pebble Beach, Marina, the north side of uh, Seaside will probably be stuck in the clouds again tomorrow like you were today. And of course, those clouds will fill back in around the bay tomorrow night. That is our daily cycle, especially during northwesterly flow. As we look at our temperatures tomorrow, you'll see some warmth up in the hills. Look at all the 80s in the Santa Cruz Mountains from the summit to the creek to the dune to the Bigfoot Museum, all in the 80s tomorrow. And Scotts Valley, you're close. Some parts of town might be in that 80 degree range. 70 in Santa Cruz, not too bad out there. A great beach day in Surf City. Capitola looking pretty nice as well, mid to upper 60s. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s from Aptos to Watsonville. A little bit cooler in Castroville with Mar and Marina with a high ch higher chance of clouds, I should say. Close to 70 in Salinas, 80 or so in San Juan. And then 80s from Hollister up into Gilroy. Over to the Monterey Peninsula, expecting highs in the low 60s, Monterey to Seaside, only in the 50s in the Del Monte Forest tomorrow. And then farther south, we'll hit the 70s pretty quickly. Gonzalez, 80s as you head down past Greenfield. Victor's making a face at me, not sure why. I think he saw that. I think he's uh, he follows Richard Marks on Facebook, because I saw, I don't even follow him, but I saw somebody randomly reposted and said, 
Uh, something like the weatherman said dress for the 80s and Richard Marks. You remember that guy? He, he posted a picture of himself in his 80s clothing. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. I don't have the uh, rights to show that on the, on the uh, broadcast tonight, but you know, if you're a savvy internet person, you could probably dig that up. I think that's what Victor was looking at on the laptop and that's why he's giving faces. It's also just my face. Uh, oh, well, you know, we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> All right, next three, uh, next seven days on the coast, pretty stable temperatures through Friday, maybe a little bit cooler this weekend. We'll have the clouds and fog in the morning, afternoon sunshine with partial clearing. Uh, next week will be a little more interesting weather-wise as we do have that trough moving through. Inland areas will see that cool down here over the next couple days, but notice those highs stay above normal, Victor. Thanks so much, Dan. A local organization is being recognized by Monterey County to celebrate their 